Hey, this is Anthony's Revzilla TV, where you can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Climb Ladies Allure GTX Parka and Bib Combo, available at Revzilla.com. So that's a mouthful, but the Climb Ladies Allure GTX is the top of the food chain for Gore-Tex snow sledding if you're looking at something that you need insulation in. So if we look at this and we think about it within the Klein line, it's using the highest degree of Thinsulate, it's using the zonal technology, which means that both for the jacket or the parka and the bib, you're seeing areas of 200 gram insulation, your areas of 100 gram insulation, and really it's tuning it so that you're not overheating the areas your body's naturally warm and you really have better coverage in the areas that are gonna be more exposed on the sled. Now the other key thing to note, and remember I'm gonna walk through the jacket and I'm gonna walk through the pants in this video. We're gonna talk about the basics and the sizing first. The other thing, key thing to note is they're using Thinsulate Light Loft in the jacket. So what they've done here, and you can see that Allie's wearing the kiwi green color, is that Light Loft allows you to have that 200 gram insulation, same degree of warmth, but you're now getting a lack of bulk. So the pants are a little bit bulkier by design. The jacket's going to be a little bit thinner, a little bit svelter, it's going to be a nicer cut, and you can see the way it sits on Allie's frame. Now let me use that to segue right into the fitment. Remember, this is a a Gore-Tex waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life garment on both parka and bib. Sizing, Allie is 5'10", 150, size 8 dress. She's got an athletic build. She's wearing a medium in the parka and a medium in the bib. And if we look at it, four colors in the parka, two colors, there's also a, bl a gray in the bib, and there's no surprises here. It's gonna be more of an American cut. You should be able to tie it right in with the size chart. And if you're concerned, remember we do ship for free over 39 bucks, and either one of these bad boys are gonna be around that $300 mark, so no worries on that. Also, ladies, I'd love to get your gut reactions. Subscribe to us on our YouTube channel and leave us your gut reactions, your feedback here on the Allure GTX combo. Now, I'm gonna take a deep dive into the jacket, but if you're just interested in learning about the Allure bib, really the Parker rather, the Allure bib is the bottom half of this. Click right here on the menu and it'll scoot you fast forward to the part where I roll through the, par or the bib on its own. Now the jacket, again, four colors available. There's a black, there's a clover, there's also an arctic blue. The kiwi's really nice, and this is again top of the food chain. You'd move to something like the Alpine for ladies if you wanted to go with just a shell. Remember, this has baked-in insulation, and it's the zonal insulation that's going to be really for that aggressive, and a lot of times we see that this more east coast riding. It's bitter cold, it's a bit more humid, more ice is gonna be thrown into the mix. If you want to take a step back off it from level of investment or level of insulation, you can always go with something like the Intrigue. Now, a lot of creature comforts here. You're gonna see it as it breaks down. Lots of reflect reflectivity, nice design aesthetic here. See the monkey paws even that Ali has going on down here at the wrist. That's a gaiter that goes from the wrist of the jacket inside your glove so no snow can get up into your sleeve. Now, Ali, if you turn to the side for you, I want to show, there is a great ventilation feature here, and you're gonna see it on the pants as well, that if I reach up there and pull that open, you're gonna see great direct venting through the Gore-Tex liner. Remember, Gore-Tex allows you to sweat and allows that sweat to breathe out through the membrane, but again, if you wanna get direct, in, direct airflow, you have that option as well. Turn and face the back for me. You can see, nice clean line across the back. I don't know if you can see it. There's a light feminine design here that's slightly embossed into the fabric and that ties in nicely throughout. Again, it just creates a little bit of texture and interest. And again, Klein spends a lot of time really thinking through the safety factor of the reflectivity and where it goes on the body. So you're gonna see it throughout the garment and the elbows up along the back and on the shoulders. You see the same thing as we move into the Allure GTX bib as well. Come back around to the front. Other creature comforts, Allie, unzip it and start to bring it down. Spring-loaded snaps, YKK zippers that go all the way down. Nice finishing touches. You also note that it was a two-way zipper, so if you needed a little bit of flair, you could have brought it up from the bottom. And now here is our zonal technology. You can see it's quilted, non-removable. And you see this gusset right here on the back? I neglected to mention as we rolled around, this is actually an expansion panel. So if Allie had a little bit more flair in her hips, she'd have about an inch and a half of expansion there as well. You can see I just expanded it in the way that it pops out there. You can see it from the inside out. Allie, open up the other side. And you see as Allie's doing that, you can get a gauge on these Allure bib that go all the way down. They do have a full suspender. And then again, just like Climb typically does, 300 gram fleece up here in the collar, and you're gonna see our loops for your earbuds. They like, they, they do believe that most snowmobilers wear music a lot. It's just kind of their general assumption. So you're gonna see that feature on most, if not all, um, parkas as well as other jackets in the Climb collection. So from here, I'm about to roll into the Allure GTX bib. But before I do that, remember the next step in your journey is to click right here if you just wanna read more rider reviews of the Allure GTX Parka, you can do so at RevZilla.com, see what other customers that have bought it are saying, get a good gauge on how it might fit you. You don't have to take my word for it. And remember, we do ship for free and you can always get in touch with LadyGearGeek at RevZilla.com via phone or email.
Now moving into the Allure bib, remember Gore-Tex, waterproof, breathable. You're gonna have that 200 gram thin slate insulation. It's not the insulate light loft. It doesn't need to be as felt as something like the jacket you might wear, more, wear in a few different riding conditions. But thinking through it, remember, you're gonna have a black version. This is the gray. And notice it's a full bib that also has the suspenders. And again, what Climb does for the ladies is they don't come up fully in, cr in front of the chest. What they do is they'll do these high waist with stretch panels and then they'll side, they'll do the suspenders over the sides, over the shoulders. Now, in looking at it, remember the insulation is non-removable and there are some creature comforts here. You're looking at a top of the food chain insulated bib. And if you really want to go with just a shell, you look at something like the Alpine for ladies, again, Gore-Tex with no insulation, or you could go a step down from this guy and you really think about something like the Cascade, which is a little bit more basic. Now, Ali, turn the face away from me. If you look at the side, you're going to see a few things going on here. Basic hand warmer pockets. As they move down the seat, you're going to see the stretch panel that slides into the way the seat is designed. And again, they call it the drop seat design, which adds some flexibility. But what it is, it allows you to open up the back completely or just side vent here and vent directly in if you're looking for better airflow. Remember, YKK zips throughout. Moving down the side of the pant, it's a lot of the standard features from Climb. You're going to see that Ali is, I believe, wearing Climb's Lady Gore-Tex boots, but they're tying in nicely with this knee height side zipper and then you're also going to have as you move all the way down a gaiter behind it that would go over your boots and act as that snow skirt layer turn backwards for me ali classic clean seat in its design again ties in with that zipper that starts around the yoke of the back and again no fr no frills but also no surprises as you go down the back but this is not a entry-level product this is definitely a real investment that's going to give you many riding seasons of staying warm and staying comfortable and as climb typically does on their Gore-Tex products it's that dry seat tech technology which is going to allow you to have a better chance of when water's pulling on the seat of your sled it's through osmosis is not going to end up in your pants so again they have that extra technology in there to keep your backside dry come back around to the front for me, Alley. And if you take a peek at the front too, there's going to be a gator. Remember, it is Gore Performance Shell here. It's a two layer construction behind that main construction water resistant zipper. Now, the next step in your journey, if you want to learn more about the Climb Allure GTX Ladies Bib, is to click here, read other rider reviews at revzilla.com. Remember, we do ship for free. And as always, if you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877 792 9455. I hope you've learned how the Allure GTX outfit. Four ladies can keep you rock solid, comfortable, and aggressive on your sled through wintertime snowmobiling. So you can find it at revzilla.com slash climb. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.